So this is an introduction, which is very much like a recap of your set two work. So during set two work, when something, when you have two similar triangles, they try to write out the three ratio first. So you try to write out the three ratio. You can compare the alphabets. I always compare the alphabet in this way so that I don't make careless mistake in my ratio. So you are still gonna be doing this in sec three similarity because it's the same concept. So write out the ratio. Okay, so you can see, then you try to fill in the ratio with the length that is provided to you. So hopefully you can find BC. So the question is asking you to find BC. So write out the ratio, fill in the numbers. So do you have AB? Yep, I have AB, AB is an eight. Uh, I, then the next one is EB. So EB is a four. BC is the one that I'm interested in. And do I have BD? Yep, BD I have. So this one is a bit useless. The AC is useless because it's not provided. ED is also useless because it's not provided. So anyway, from here is already sufficient that you can cross multiply. So you are still expected to do this kind of calculation. So accept that you will need to prove similar triangle. So later we come to that. Okay, so if the question provide you with similar triangles, you just do a stack up. So this is the what I meant by stack up. You stack it so that you can see the ratio and you will make careless mistake in the ratio. So that's very much like set to work. So the same thing is gonna happen so this is also like something like set two work. So if the question never states, and they also never ask you to prove, so you just have to state the similar triangle. So if the question never asks you to prove and also never mention, you just state the similar triangle. So which similar triangles are you using? you got to state. And you make sure the coordinates match. So A, D, E is similar. A, B, C. So again, I'm going to write the ratio. So I'm going to write the ratio blindly. So I follow the alphabets. I will get to my three ratio. So no matter what, if you don't know what to do, just write out the ratio first. And our job is to calculate D, E, and A, C. Then we'll try, in, try to fill in the values. So this is a nine and A, B is a 12. Uh, I do not have DE, I do have my BC, so don't have my AE, do I have my AE? No, I don't have, okay. I also don't have my AC, but my AC is actually dependent on AE. So from here, we realize we can find DE. So do your usual cross multiplication. Okay, you can do it yourself. You will get six and three quarter. And how are you gonna find AC? Okay, AC is 
AE plus 4.5. So I will be using this. I will use the 9 over 12 against this Or if you feel more comfortable, you can let A, E, B, X. So that's what some people will do. They find more comfortable looking at um, X. So if that's you, that's fine. Then continue to solve for X. But that's not the answer. Your answer is A, C. A, C is X plus 4.5. So it is still the same idea, except that you are not asked to prove similar triangle, but you still need to detect. You need to detect the similar triangle. You need to state the similar triangle. So you always write out the ratios. The ratio will lead you to find the length. So that will be a very, very basic idea. And subsequently, you'll be using the ratios for area ratios. So the same three ratios that we are getting will be used for area ratios.